Hi everyone, I'm Kevin Wilson. We're back here at my gym again, uh, Peak Physique and Fitness in Hitchin, Hertfordshire. Today's going to be a shoulders workout, a shoulders workout that will work for you whether you're a tiny bikini model or a super heavyweight bodybuilder. Uh, let's get down to business. Joined today by, well, Beauty and the Beast really, Anastasia Paracos, a bikini model, and Martin Stevenson, one of the country's top super heavyweight bodybuilders. Martin, I'm not being unkind calling you the beast, am I? That is your nickname that everyone knows you by, isn't it? It is, yes. Uh, <laughs> active channel viewers will know you anyway, because you've been on here before, but just give us a few brief highlights of your career, please. I've been a uh, competitive bodybuilder now for over 15 years, competed uh, at universe level with uh, NABA, with WABA, with IBFA, and uh, placed top six in the UK BFF in, uh, in the British finals. And um, Anastasia, you're a new face to the Active Channel, but you've been doing this for quite a while, haven't you? Yeah, well, um, I actually won my first bikini show last October. Brilliant. Um, and I've competed since then another two times That's and awesome. hoping to continue. <laughs> That's it, keep your arms a little bit straighter, and just pick them up just to eye level and just drop it down almost to the bottom, nine tenths of the way down so the tension stays on the muscle. The idea of this is that we absolutely isolate the very front delt here. It's a small strip of muscle at the front of the shoulders, but by doing this first, we, by doing two uh, different exercises for this, we'll absolutely annihilate that part of the shoulders, then it can't help when we do the rest of the shoulders. We're gonna do 10. Um, what are your plans? Stay with UK BFF and do some more? Definitely, yeah. I really want to improve on my weaker areas. Um, just keep going. I'm enjoying it so far, and that's the main thing. You can see this working very well on Martin's shoulders. He's got the biggest shoulders you'll ever see, probably. Um, but you can see that even on him, the front delt is only a small muscle. But this particular exercise is picking out beautifully and working just that area of the shoulder. Excellent work, well done. The important things to remember when you do this exercise are that you're trying to use the two dumbbells as one, really. So when you raise them, you squeeze them together. If you, the harder you squeeze them together, the more effect you're going to get out of it. The other things to remember are that when you come up, you just come up just above eye level, and then you're holding it for a second, then you're going to come down slowly, just to here. And never come down and just rest it at the bottom, because then the muscles are resting. You come up to eye level, you let it down slowly, nine tenths of the way, and then start the whole movement all over again. I'm uh, looking to uh, compete in October uh, to do the NABBA Mr England, which is a qualifier for the universe. Yeah. I came seventh at the universe last year when I was very ill. I've been ill for about yeah. 10 days before the show, but yes, uh, still managed to play seventh, which I was very pleased with. And I'm hoping to, uh, to get to the universe and, uh, and do well. So we've done three sets of 10 using the dumbbells with the hands up, or what they call supinated. We're now going to do it to hit exactly the same muscles slightly differently. We're going to do another three sets of 10 with something different. This will be a bar. We're going to do it with our hands facing down, what's called pronated. So you're bringing it up to eye level? or Yeah, just above. By holding the contraction at the top of the movement, he's maximising the contraction of the delts. And if you notice, he's not taking any tension off at the bottom. There's no rest at the bottom. He's holding it away from his body and not resting it. So the tension's on the muscle all the way through the movement. Absolutely right, yeah. yeah. Um, a lot of people watching this, of course, who have never competed, but I think it's most people's ambition to get up on stage. A lot of people are very nervous about it, and you know they're like, oh, I couldn't possibly do it. Try to put people's minds at rest that it's not that bad and there's a lot of camaraderie in bodybuilding. I think the thing is, no matter what the level is, we all know what a difficult journey dieting is, training hard for a show. And even now, I, I was judging a show recently, uh, a couple of weekend, weekends ago, and the guys have worked hard. Uh, it doesn't matter what level you're at, you're at, and everybody respects that. And if you make it to the stage, you've won. You know, it's a personal win, um, and it doesn't matter what you place, it's a personal win. And you take that and you say, well, okay, now I have a benchmark as to where I'm at. 
seek someone's advice like yourself or myself or, or some of the other guys, Neil and, and, and Dean, uh, who work with the Active Channel, find yourself a good coach, be honest with yourself and uh, have a plan. That's really good, just above eye level and slowly down. As Martin says, about nine tenths of the way down is the way to do it, but keep the muscles constantly under tension. Just pick up and hold and then come down slowly. You can really see this working, Anastasia's shoulders here. Another point you need to be careful with on this is not to swing because then you can injure your lower back. Yeah. I, I tend to do this kind of stand exercise with the belt on just yeah. to give me a little bit of protection on my back. Or even standing against the wall to yeah. stop leaning back, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Really good. Good set, very good set. If you ever do compete, you'll see that in the crowd, whoever you are, um, if it's your first show or whatever, if people can see that you're up on stage because you've put in the work and you've done the diet, you'll get a tremendous amount of respect and a huge am uh, amount of applause where wherever you place. So, you know, don't ever be afraid of it for that. It's, uh, you know, th th it's, it's a sport where people, the crowds are very, very knowledgeable and they will know if you put in the work and they will appreciate that. Um, so, you know, I was saying there's a lot of camaraderie backstage, isn't there? You, you, you sort each other's tan yeah. out, um, help each other get pumped up, yeah. doing towel pulls and things yeah, like that. Yeah. Because the thing is, it's a competitive sport, yes, but you're only really ever competing with yourself. Absolutely, yeah. And as long as you bring your best that you can to the stage and you bring your best on the day, yeah. that's all that can be expected of you. And wherever you place, you place. Uh, and then you learn from that and you go away and you, you have a plan and, and work for the next show. One thing that you'll notice here is how Martin keeps himself absolutely upright. The reason he does this is he's got a very strong core. Uh, I worked with Martin for a couple of years, trained at his gym uh, over at Olney in Buckinghamshire, and we did a lot of work on core strength and core fitness. When you're doing an exercise like this, basically your core is what locks you into position. Once you do that, everything else is straight, and the only muscles that are doing the hard work are the shoulders, which is what we're trying to hit. Really good, well done, well done. The best tips that I can give you for this particular exercise are first of all, make sure you're standing up straight. Don't swing, don't lean. Either lean against the wall, put on a belt, or have someone stand behind you, but you must not swing, you must not lean. And the other important thing is don't be in too much of a rush to get the reps done. Do them nice and slowly, pick them up, make sure you get the weight up above the eye level, and then let it down very slowly and not all the way down. The best way to do these is as slow as you can. 10 reps should take you best part of a minute to do because then you use the negatives as well. The muscles are constantly under tension and as they're just a small muscle, the front delts, you'll get an absolutely really brilliant workout of them and they'll be absolutely wiped out by the end of it. There's a lot of women into this sport now. It's probably more women than ever been before. Definitely. You know, the, the gym here is set out so that you know we can try and encourage that in the sport. You know, would you encourage women to take it onto that level, to competition level? Yeah, why not? I mean, if you're already hitting the weights, you know, going to the weights room and, you know, having a good workout, why not give yourself a goal to work towards? And, absolutely, you know, yeah, absolutely. That's what I did and, yeah. you know. I think it also helps you stay focused off-season. If you think, well, I'm, I may compete this year, mm. you mm. tend to stay in control. So that's the end of part one and you're already feeling tired, but stay with us, come back for part two shortly. <laughs>